Well, here we go, starting on the next bag. Uh, I finished off the red bag, and this week I was able to uh, figure out who the winner was. So congratulations to uh, Mary XOXO, uh, who had commented on tons of my videos, uh, all the ones really in this series. So she's the, the happy winner of the, the, uh, the red bag. Uh, and so I got that mailed out uh, a few days ago to her. So hopefully that'll arrive safely over the next few days. I'm pretty happy uh, about the way it turned out. And so I hope, it, uh, I hope it's awesome. And I hope you really, really enjoy it. Uh, here I am putting the pink bag together. I learned a few things the last time around. So uh, I started out here by just contact cementing everything together. Uh, you can see here the pink bag. I'm, I'm just using the, the kind of untreated, undyed, uncolored leather for this process. Uh, I kind of like the way that goes with the color. So that's the way I decided to do it. Uh, so the first step here is just to glue everything together uh, and then use my punch there to, to go ahead and punch holes all the way around. Uh, this is the way I did the red bag, and it worked pretty well, um, but everything kind of slides around a little bit as you're, you're doing this. Um, so I don't particularly like this method. Uh, I tried something a little bit different when I put the other side on. Uh, but once I got the pieces all glued together, then it was just a matter of stitching everything together so that, uh, you know, everything was all in, in one piece and it's safe and secure. One thing that this process made me really want to do is buy a, a sewing machine that I could use for, for sewing this stuff together. I think the stitches would be a lot neater than they were with my hand stitching, and it would certainly take a lot less time. But I don't have a sewing machine, and so I had to do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, here I am putting the other part of the, of the bag on. So this is the opposite side with the pocket. And you can see that everything is just real floppy here. I didn't actually glue anything together before I started putting it together. Uh, instead, what I did is I just went and punched all the holes separately. Uh, so I knew where all of the edges were supposed to go, and I knew where everything was supposed to fit together. So I just punched all the holes independently. Uh, and now I'm just going in and sewing things up and lining up the holes and getting it all put together. So this works out pretty easily because the, the little puncher that I, I used to make those holes uh, is, you know, uniform, right? So as long as I, I keep the, uh, the process the same for all the holes I punch, then I'm sure that they're guaranteed to line up. And because the pieces are the right size and they're, you know, they're based off the pattern from the original, then I know everything is going to fit together just like it's supposed to. So this method actually worked. Uh, it was a, a little messier and a little harder to keep things together. Um, but this works too, uh, and it didn't require the, the use of that contact cement. So I didn't have to worry about that, the, you know, the stinky smell and the, the getting it on the fingers and, you know, touching everything and, and all that, that gook. So, uh, this was pretty good. And so I think I, I prefer this method, even though it is, takes a little bit longer to do the stitching, uh, it does avoid the, the need for, for contact cement in the first place. Once I get this part done, uh, I'm going to start putting on the, the different leather pieces. Uh, I've start, you can see in just a second here, I'm going to start sewing on the, the top corner uh, where the strap attaches. Uh, this is one thing that I learned to do differently uh, from the last time around. Uh, last time around, I put the inside of the bag in first, uh, and that made it incredibly difficult to actually sew this piece on. Um, it also turns out here that things don't seem to be fitting entirely correctly here. Uh, so I'm going to have to make some adjustments or do something to get this thing to fit precisely right because uh, it doesn't seem to be wanting to behave correctly. Uh, so so anyway, I'll figure out what go, what's going on and we'll post the rest of this guy next week. But yeah, if you want to win this bag, then feel free to uh, leave a comment on this video and I'll be drawing a, a winner uh, of this bag once I finish it. So uh, again, congratulations to Mary XOXO. I hope you enjoy the red bag. And I'm looking forward to finishing this one and giving it away too. So uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And we'll see you next week.